Friday. Yeah, and by then it will definitely feel mm -hmm. like Christmas mm -hmm. out there, will it not, Mary Kay? Super festive, you're right. Temperatures will be chilly, but at least we don't have huge precipitation to worry about for the events at all. Now, as we go through the night, we're setting up this chilly trend. An Arctic ridge of high pressure now is just moving into Chicago. As the front came through, you could feel it. We had big winds this afternoon, and now the door is open for some cold air tonight. This is what I expect for low temperatures. 25 tonight in Ottawa and in Aurora, 24 in DeKalb and McHenry, 27 in Waukegan, holding at 31 degrees in Gary overnight. Looking live along Washington Street here, and we also see the Chris Kindle market, 39 degrees at O'Hare, cloudy skies. Winds are still gusty, though, to 24 miles per hour, but the winds are coming out of the north and northwest, pulling in that colder air. Satellite review is showing that we're still under a pretty thick overcast. There are some holes in the overcast over southern Wisconsin. We may get a break or two, and I think we're going to start tomorrow with clouds early, especially in northwest Indiana. So as we go through the night, temperatures in the mid 30s in the midnight hours start falling into the 20s, and then by the afternoon, we're going to really break out the sunshine as skies do clear out. But notice that temperature didn't change a whole lot. So colder than normal, maybe 40 in Joliet, 36 in Gary, 38 degrees for Waukegan and O'Hare and also for Aurora and will be right around 36 degrees in LaPorte. Now looking at the weekend, there's a big system that's going to pass just to the south of us, but I think it's close enough. It could brush us with a few flurries and sprinkles on Saturday. That moves out dry weather for Sunday. Partly cloudy skies, a touch warmer, 45 for the high. So here's the system I'm looking at. This is Friday night at 7. That low way in the southern states starts reaching for Ohio. Saturday morning, look at the cloud shield building over over Chicago and as the low lifts to the north and east towards Cincinnati, it may brush us with a flurry or a sprinkle until it passes to the east Saturday night. So I think Saturday morning into the early afternoon hours would be our chance for that flurry or sprinkle. But by the time everyone goes to the Mag Mile for the parade, I think we're just fine. We're going to be clearing out cooler weather settling in and then on Sunday we'll just see a sun cloud mix. So our seven day forecast is colder than normal for Friday, but at least in the afternoon it will be nice and bright. So I'm thinking that even if we do start with a few clouds in the morning, throughout the course of the afternoon, winds relax finally, skies clear out, temperatures may struggle a bit, but it's Friday, it's sunny, it's all good, and there's only a few sprinkles or flurries on the front half of your Saturday kickoff. Looking good at 45. All right, thank you, Mary Kay. I like the way she thinks. It's all good. Yeah, hey, a little sunshine. Line.